guys and welcome back to our Gregory home. My name is Chelsea and today I'm going to be showing you how I created this really cute craft organization out of items from the Dollar Tree. Now I didn't come up with this idea of using the cooling racks um, by myself. I did see a video on YouTube and I'd like to give credit where credit is due and so I want to give credit to Bargain Bethany for coming up with using the, the cooling racks to create so many cool things. I'm going to link her videos down below if you haven't seen them. You probably have seen them already, but if you haven't, I'm going to link them down below so you can check them out. This was so fun and so easy to make and I can't wait to show you guys, so let's get started. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and grab four packages of the cooling racks from the Dollar Tree. It comes two in a pack, so that gives you a total of eight cooling racks. So you're going to take those apart, and then I'm just taking some wire that I also picked up from Dollar Tree, and I'm basically just wrapping the wire around all the joints and making sure that that is nice and tight so it keeps it all together. Now once I give it a black coat of spray paint, I'm going to be using these book rings that I also picked up from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to be hooking those on the little lip there that kind of makes the cooling rack stick up and those are going to be how I hang it. So you can see here I just take that little ring and I just put it directly onto a thumbtack. You can use a nail if you want, however I'm not going to be hanging super heavy stuff here so a thumbtack I thought would be just fine. Now I did pick up a bunch of different little containers here from the Dollar Tree. Some smaller ones, some bigger ones, some buckets. And what I'm doing is just taking those book rings and I'm adding them to the to the baskets and to the buckets. And this is how we're going to hang them. I wanted to use these book rings because I wanted to be able to remove the baskets if I wanted to. To you know, if I needed a whole thing of paintbrushes, I could just grab the whole basket instead of just walking over and getting the paintbrushes and back and forth and back and forth. So that's why I decided to go for these little rings. But here I am just attaching them to the little cooling racks in a little cute display. And now of course I'm just filling all of the baskets and the buckets with my goodies. I did pick up these cute little cactus pins from the Dollar Tree. I haven't seen them before, I think they're new. So I thought those were really cute and I wanted to share them with you. I have a bunch of these little letters that I decided to stick in one and then of course my Mod Podge and my glue that I use all the time. I have a bunch of these little wooden craft sticks, some hot glue sticks, and then these foam brushes of course I use all the time so those were a necessity. I have a bunch of these wooden colored beads and then on the last bigger basket I decided to put some of my paints that I use a lot. And here's what everything looks like all put together. I think it turned out so great and I can't wait to get started on using it. Alright you guys, that does it for this DIY. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gives you some ideas on how to create things on a budget. And you don't have to spend a fortune on storage and things like that when you have a Dollar Tree just right down the street. Thanks to Bargain Bethany for giving me the idea of using the cooling racks. You rock. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to always be creative, be unique, but most importantly be yourself. And we will catch you on the next video. Bye guys!